The heart bleed, heart bleed bug, probably one of the more interesting and potentially damaging software vulnerabilities that's been discovered recently. So what was heart bleed? Heart bleed is a vulnerability discovered in probably the most common and popular security library that's in use on the web. So here's the website for at heartbleed.com. Um, and Heartbleed was a serious vulnerability, and, and what made Heartbleed so serious? Well, the first thing was it affected one of the most common libraries that's used to secure communications on the internet. So as their webpage puts it, um, SSL TLS, that secure socket layer, transport layer security, provides communication security and privacy over the internet for applications such as web, email, instant messaging, and some virtual private networks. So that's like a lot of traffic. That's a lot of traffic. Um, and this affected a library called OpenSSL. And OpenSSL is quite popular and it's used as the basis of a lot of HTTPS implementations, a lot of SSH implementations, uh, email, and other things. So this was a very serious security problem. So what did Heartbleed allow an attacker to do? So what Heartbleed allowed an attacker to do was to peek into the memory of the server that was affected by this bug. So by using, the reason it's called Heartbleed is because there's a heartbeat feature of the TLS protocol that this was exploiting. And this is you know, one of those things that's really interesting about software, that feature was probably introduced and no one thought it was a security risk, but it turns out that it had a huge security hole in it. And so what that allowed the attacker to do is glimpse at random bits of the server's memory contents. So as the server is running, it's got a bunch of stuff in memory, and Heartbleed would allow me to pull, I think it was 64K of the memory contents and have them return to me in this message. So I could communicate with the server and I could essentially get it to repeatedly send me 64k of its memory contents. Why is this a problem? Well, think about the kind of stuff that would be stored in server memory. An email server might have the contents of email that are being exchanged by its users. A web server might have um, transaction information like credit card numbers or other things for active connections, people buying things. Um, but probably the most important and really dangerous information that Heartbleed could have exposed are the actual security keys themselves. So for example, if I was an attacker using Heartbleed and I managed to get the right 64K of memory, I might actually come away with the private keys that the server used. And of course that is just mind-blowingly scary. That would mean that essentially I can now decrypt now back into the past and into the future, all of the, the in theor theoretically secure traffic that's being sent back and forth to that server. So this was a bug that made the news in a big way. It was patched extremely quickly. Um, but one of the most frightening things about Heartbleed is we really don't know what the impact was because this particular bug didn't leave a trace. So the, we know that there were a lot of systems that were vulnerable to it for potentially a long period of time. We don't know if they were attacked. We don't know how long they were attacked. And we have no idea what information might have been recovered from them. I think, to me, that makes this really uh, pretty frightening. Now, the, you know, what's the probability that somebody used Heartbleed and got some really juicy stuff and is just kind of sitting on it for a long period of time? I don't know. But it's possible that people got information using this bug you know, powerful entities, corporations, governments, and are selectively using that information over time. So what do we have to do to recover from Heartbleed? Well, one of the things that we did is we fixed it. We fixed the bug. We pushed out new versions of OpenSSL that don't have this problem. So that's good. Obviously, we need to fix the problem. The people that discovered Heartbleed in the security community also really strongly encouraged any systems that might have been vulnerable to Heartbleed to regenerate their security keys. So I had keys on that machine, I had a public key and my private key, and that private key is potentially compromised. And so what I need to do is I need to regenerate a new public key, go to a certificate authority and get them to sign it again so that I can use HTTPS and other things, and then um, I have new private keys that I know are secure. So a really interesting example of a very serious security bug. Um, you know, again, the, the web page has a lot more information. It's really kind of a fascinating story. Um, 
the implications of Heartbleed don't we don't seem to have seen any massive disruptions in society that would have taken place if someone had been able to break into everybody's account, but we don't know. We just don't know what information was captured and how it's been used.